In the previous module we have discussed different MongoDB Bison types and looked at a sample of the document that has different key value pairs and values were of different types. So let's create similar document in this lesson and look how MongoDB handles different MongoDB Bison types. So let's get started. I will first remove documents from previous lesson just to make collection empty. Remove all documents. Now first collection is empty and let's add new document using insert1 method. So insert1. This method needs an object. So here it is, curly braces. I will make it more pretty. So and add set of key value pairs. So first will be named string colon and just plain string hello world. So key value pair separated by colon. After each key value pair I need to add comma. I will name keys so that we will understand which Bison value type should be assigned to its value. Ok, next one. Next one just boolean. Boolean colon just true or false. Next one. Next one will be number. Number and just 10. Ok. Come on. Then comes number int. Number int. And here we specify number type in extended JSON format. Number int and just 100. Comma, next one. Number long. Colon, same here, number long and some long value. Next one. Next one will be date. So just date, colon, and again value in extended JSON MongoDB shell format. Just new date and empty parentheses. It means that MongoDB will generate new value from the current date. Comma. Then comes object, object, colon, open curly brace and couple of key value pairs. So just A will be 10, B will be true. And close curly brace. And finally let's add an array with a couple of elements. So just array and in square brackets couple of elements 1, 2, 3. So here you see most commonly used types in MongoDB. You don't see object ID here. That's because I have made it intentionally. I don't want to pass underscore ID using this document. I want MongoDB to generate this underscore ID itself. Let's execute this command and look at the result. Command enter. And here is the result. Acknowledge true and inserted ID is the object ID of newly added document. Let's open new shell. Just click on my DB, right click open shell. And let's perform find operation on the first collection in my DB. db.first, find and empty parentheses. Command enter. Let's examine all key value pairs. You see that underscore ID was generated by MongoDB. And type of the value is object ID. Then comes string. It was left unchanged. So same as we have passed here. Next one is boolean. It's true. Again, same as in the input. Then comes number. And here you see difference. MongoDB has converted number to decimal. This is the default behavior and if you just pass a number like here, it will be converted to decimal type. Then number int. You see that it is without decimal part. It means that in this case type is integer and specifically 32-bit integer. Then comes number long and here you see prefix number long. Then comes date. New date in the input was used as an instruction to generate new ISO date. And here you see result. 
ISO date was generated. And here is my current date and time. Then comes object with two key value pairs. Again, number was converted to decimal. Then comes an array with three elements. And again, in the input, we had one, two, three. In the result, we get three decimal numbers. Let's look at the same document in the tree view. So just switch to tree view, click this icon with the tree and expand this document. And here you see all BSON types assigned to the values of the each key value pair. So first one is object ID, second is string, then boolean, then double, so number is double, then integer 32, integer 64, then comes date, object and an array. You can expand an array on the left using arrow and you see three double types here. Let's expand an object and see that A is double and B is boolean. As you see, it's very simple to insert document with different fields of different types. But please be careful with numbers, because by default just plain number will be converted always to decimal. In the next section we will talk about duplicate IDs and what happens if you want to insert document with an ID of existing document. See you!